Yeah, you you speak. One part stood out to me just now where you were talking about he wouldn't even let y'all on set unless you were in character. And Vlad interviewed Omar Gooden once. And Omar was talking about, I guess, John had you guys do an exercise where you guys were in character and he and uh, Ving Rames, who played your love interest, Melvin, were in character. And they're going back and forth. And I don't know if it turns serious or what, but he said good old Ving grabbed him up, body slammed him and, you know, really let him know I'm one of these rolling crip dudes from around here. Through the rehearsal process, he motivates you. I think for the, I, I was kind of cocky that I got it. So I felt like I was the shit, but I wasn't showing it yet. And he called me out in front of everybody. Like, all right, that was a good rehearsal today. And he looks dead at me and says, but some of us need to step it up. Hmm. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I was just like, what the fuck? So I remember I go home and I'm thinking about it. Obviously I can't sleep, can't wait for the next day, man. So I show up that day and I was fired up, man. He said, all right, first exercise we're going to do, uh, one of you is going to sit in the middle with a chair. The rest of the cast, all in character, are going to ask you questions. But just remember, stay in character, stay in character, stay in character. Who wants to go first? Me. <laughs> Shit, I'm ready. And I sat there and I remember everybody that asked me anything, I just jumped on them. I wouldn't let them complete a sentence. I was just fired up. Bah, 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 what? Yeah. Oh, because of this, because of that. If it wasn't in the script, I'd make it up. I was just vamping. I was like, well, remember last week when I, you loaned me that money? Hey, meet me last week. Like, sorry, you lying, motherfucker. Lying what? Bitch, you remember? Like, I was just going off, right? Then we was like, all right, we're going to try something else. How about this scene is this? We'll do word association. I'm yelling in Tyree's face and doing words, word playing. We're doing this back and forth. And then, uh, I remember uh, Ving Rhames was there. So, he, you know, obviously we were going back and forth. And every time I say something, I'm like, what? He said, boy, if you don't shit your ass. And I remember I grabbed him. And we fell on the bed and we was wrestling and shit. And I was like, yeah. And I jumped off him. I'm like, punk, you ain't shit. Da, 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 da. Right, right. And and that kept going. I mean, this rehearsal went forever, man. Hey, oh, yeah. When you saw that happening, was you like, what the? Um, You know, I knew John well enough, again, as my friend, that I knew um, he would go deep to get the 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 to get what he wanted on camera. I, I mm -hmm. knew John, you know, was one of those directors that and, and one of those creators that would do what it takes to get what he wanted on camera. And so I personally love that about his style of work. So when I saw that, I was like, this is gonna be good. <laughs> like I was <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like. It's getting ready to be real good. Because when he wasn't like, okay, calm down, calm down. When he just let it go, and he and he would do that with the love scenes. I would, you know, after a while, I'd be like, John, you gonna yell cut or what we doing? And he was like, I'm my bad, my bad. And I was like, yeah, you're <laughs> bad. Like, you know, what we doing? And so um, I just, I admired him in, in him knowing how to get the performances. And what he was really doing was he was creating the nuances even before the camera rolled. He was creating the relationships, creating the tensions creating the buttons that all we had to do once the camera rolled was go in and push the buttons. We got to know each other so well as people really before the camera rolled that once we got in character and the, and the, and the film was rolling, we knew what our emotional places were, you know, as people. So it was easy to disappoint each other if the camera needed that. It was easy to hurt each other's feelings. It was easy to love each other. And I think that's also what you see in Baby Boy. It's the words are one thing, the script is another thing too, but just the heartfelt energy of, of what we all poured into it. I think that's what makes it the movie that it is.